six million ways to die. Choose one. They call me Megatron. Just did a telethon. He got my jealous on. He not get my jealous on. I feel like I'm missing. He just came out of prison. Talking shit, but they ain't got a pot to piss in. My name is Nicky M. Now I'm pregnant. Like my peers. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my life. Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Dana. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future. So today I'm going to be reacting to Hoshwin's Funniest Reactions to World News Part 2. Now I guess this is a different one. This better be a different one because I see a couple of them. And honestly the, what's it called? The thumbnail caught my eye. So I'm going to go ahead and react to this. Back in the news, two transgender athletes. What is that? This guy... It's dude. It's it's dudes. It's a man. It's men that was born as men. <laughs> but they identify as women. And they're running against a bunch of girls. Oh, transgender female. Yeah, they came in first and second. Oh, that's a big shock. I think one of them broke a record, didn't they? <laughs> Smashed the record. <laughs> Me, man. You would you should feel horrible. You don't care. You actually you actually feel good about yourself. I won! <laughs> yeah! I smoked them bitches. <laughs> hey, look, here's a picture of one of them talking to the coach, right? She's probably like, hey, coach, what I got to do to win the race? Coach is like, just run, bitch. You're a dude. <laughs> just run. <laughs> yeah, do me a favor, though. Yo. Took your dick and balls away for the race start. When you come around and turn three, that shit look crazy as fuck. <laughs> your dick's bigger than mine. <laughs> CeeLo Green, Damn. and he's one talented artist. Man, I like a couple of his songs. Not all of them, just a couple. Man, he got a smooth-ass voice. That motherfucker got some talent. Yeah, he do, man. Look, mm. CeeLo was in the studio doing some recording for his fans. He coming out with some new music. He out there grinding. He out there grinding. That's what them damn artists do, man. They grind 24-7. Right? But anyway, one day Dirt. he was taking a break. Yeah. Right? He was talking on the phone. Yeah, that's what happened. Like you, the ladies at me might be talking to a girlfriend, man, spin around and chat like that. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna lie. When I saw this, I thought somebody shot his ass. Like a damn, like a damn shot suit shooter. Yeah, I felt, uh, I felt, I was like, damn. What you call them people in the trees shooting, killing motherfuckers what in the woods? Look like a damn sniper got CeeLo. I said, God damn, that was a clean head shot. That's so what he I hit was him so quick saying. at home, man, he didn't even drop his phone. <laughs> he was dead on impact. Hey, man. He died? We're going to do a reaction video. What happened to his phone? It's about this dude up in Montana. His name is Todd Orr. He got mauled by... <laughs> They're so fucked. Hold on, I'm going to start this over. No, don't start this over. This is reaction, bitch. This dude was up in Montana where he know there's bears at. Yeah. He's up there fucking hiking. Yeah. I guess he's trying to make some gains or something. Yeah, life sucks in bear country. You just yeah. gotta, I would say so. Two cubs come at me from about 80 yards. And uh, I sprayed the shit out of her with bear spray. <laughs> on my face, protected the back of my neck. Internal organs are good. Eyes are good. I just walked out three miles and I go to the hospital. So, it's be safe out there. Bird spray doesn't always work, but it's better than nothing. I don't think it fucking worked at all. <laughs> did, you, did you see yourself the first in the fucking thing video? You think I'm talking about drop, drop, play dead, right? Man, every time I see that, people getting fucked up. You better all fucking running. You know what happened? Can you outrun a bird, though? No. No, birds are pretty fast. They got four legs. You only got two, bitch. <laughs> and besides, this motherfucker's been hiking. He's probably tired as shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bird come up all fresh yeah. and shit. Yeah. Fucking run. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> In all honesty, that whole that whole thing where you have to like play like like just fuck. You just have to drop and act like you're dead. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I don't know about y'all. I'm pretty sure the first human instinct is to fucking run for your life. Bro, me, oh my gosh. I swear I will be, bro, I will turn into Sonic that day. I swear I'd be running for my freaking life. Or if I notice that the bear's pretty damn fast and I'm running like a damn turtle, I'm 
might just try to climb up a fucking tree. Can bears climb up a tree? Can they? I think they can. Yeah, either way, I'd be dead. It, it is what it is, but you, you got me all the way fought up. If you think I'm going to drop to the floor and wait for that motherfucker to come finish what the hell he think is dead. Like, no. This ain't Mortal Kombat. Finish him. No, I'm running, bro. I'm running. See, uh, this guy, Mr. Todd Orr. Mr. Todd Orr? He's a tough motherfucker, man. But he went out there with some pepper spray and a gun because he knows this is fucking bear country. Exactly. I got to come prepared. While you was getting your ass whipped, you forgot all about that goddamn gun. Yeah. Well, I think that bear saw the gun and smacked it out your fucking hand. <laughs> That's not funny. Smart, that gun out his hand first. Right? And you sprayed it with that mace, but man, yeah, that goddamn shit don't affect that damn. What do you say? Sometimes it don't work. He <laughs> says it's better than nothing. <laughs> I think it's... Uh, I wouldn't say that. I would say nothing is better. I would have just <laughs> fucking played dead. Because I think that damn shit burned his fucking eyes and it pissed him off even more. There's this picture going around. People say. People say. What the fuck they saying? Exactly. They saying. This is the blackest kid on this planet. And if this is actually real... I would say, yeah, this is definitely the blackest motherfucker on this planet, but this shit is fake. It's got to be. Yeah, I, th I say it's fake because you don't see no white in eyes. You know, the eyes, your eyes are just not black like a goddamn yeah. alien. You That's what, what I'm saying. saying. So it's got to be fake. Yeah, you can't even see the white part. All you see is black. Black hair, black face, black eyes, black everything. Only thing that sticks out is a little white. Bro, why the baby look like this? Oh, wait, no, that was white. Why the baby look like this? Like when the screen is completely off. I'm sorry. God forgive me. I'm so sorry. It's a very cute baby. Hell no, that baby ugly as shit. God damn. Y'all put that baby she to cook. Wrong. That picture <laughs> fake as shit. Yeah, it can't be real. Yeah. yeah. No, what if you had this kid, right? That baby's not. Let's say it's just like a damn blueberry. You know, people go, oh, little baby, let me see the baby. No, you, you didn't say that. I'd be like, God damn. Up, you say, and then you pull back the blankets and be like a white lady, be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I did the same thing. But that's a blueberry. <laughs> Yeah, that's fake. And not only is it fucking black, it's just like fucking black hole black. <laughs> you can't see shit. The picture's fake, man. You could take like a black person and put him in a goddamn tanning bed and let his ass roast for three hours. <laughs> he still ain't gonna come out that black. <laughs> just fucking impossible. Man. Yeah, the picture's Photoshop, man. It's gotta be fake. I'm so sorry if that baby <clears throat> is real. We're making fun of him. We're gonna talk about this dude and his friend. They took their family to the zoo. I've been to the zoo. I hate the fucking zoo. Yeah, I love the zoo. You never see the animals. All you see is the shit that they left behind. Huh? And all you smell is fucking asshole. Yeah. As their families were going in the zoo, they, you know, they paid for tickets to get in. But the dude, the man in question and his buddy, they said, fuck that. I ain't paying nothing. Try to save some money. All times is tough, man. The economy's down, man. Try to save some money. They decided... I'm going to jump over the fucking wall, save some money. Dumbass. He's probably thinking maybe I can buy the kids some popcorns, some, some lollipops, some hot Dumbass. dogs, some soft drinks, you know, cotton candy. Man. But they didn't realize, well, one of them realized it, that, hey, we can't go over this wall because there's a bunch of tigers down there. There's signs everywhere warning us. Other dudes said, I don't give a fuck. I'm going down now. <laughs> Shit ain't funny, bitch. Yeah, it is. Goddamn sign right there says a goddamn tiger there. He said, fuck it, I'm going to go in there anyway. Well, it's not funny. It's hilarious, actually. What was crazy is... <laughs> He's so messed up. About an hour went by. Some time went by. And the, uh, the zoo officials and some special forces came by and shot the goddamn tiger and killed it. Took him out! Took him out, but... In the meanwhile, before they shot them, they were shooting the damn tigers with uh, water, cannons. water cannons and some firecrackers. I was like, y'all got firecrackers 
and you got water guns, but you ain't got no goddamn tranquilizers up in that bitch. Man, what man, kind of zoo you running over there? Maybe they was thinking about the dude that jumped in the tank pit, man. Maybe they're trying to save some money. You ever think of that? Oh, Everybody's hurting. He's hurting. That's why he jumped the wall. They ain't got the money for tranquilizers. He said, you know what? Let's get some water cannons and some fucking firecrackers. In case some dumbass do get fucking, uh, fucking smacked around, we just scam away with it. Good point. Shit didn't work to kill that motherfucker. He shot just like Harambe. Yeah, and everybody's pissed off that they shot and killed the tigers. It's like, fuck him, he's an idiot. He deserved to die, but that tiger, he didn't deserve to die. I know who's saying that. There's a bunch of goddamn vegans out there. I say, fuck the dude and fuck that goddamn tiger too. Fuck all of them. Now, I would say the same thing. First of all, there's all these warnings that there's freaking tigers. You knew that something like this would have happened. You think a tiger just going to be like, oh, hey, what's up, yo? How you doing? No. The first thing they going to think when they see your ass is, mm, damn, that should look like a good ass snack. But no, you just want to fucking go in there and play with the damn tigers. Like, they're really going to sit here and cuddle with your ass. No, honestly... Honestly, I would have just said, fuck the dude, not the tiger. Like, the tiger wasn't bothering nobody. The tiger can't read. This is not no damn Frosted Flakes or whatever the fuck. Like, the dude knew. Like, honestly, I would just say F the dude. I don't even know if the dude's still alive, but you're a dumbass. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye, guys.